Hi, this is Justin Aquino of Confac IT, and we are going to learn to use the ERP Next OVA virtual image file. First is we have to import it. So you can download this from our website, and um, it is a OVA file. You have to look at 25, that's 2025, 04 April 30. Next where you're going to save this so because i have a limited amount of space i will save it in where i keep my virtual file uh, virtual files and i'll leave it to import so it'll take five to ten minutes you can leave it to import so we'll wait for this to be 100 percent so uh on we can start it so this will take uh five to ten minutes again Capture, yes. Then I press the the right control button to get back my mouse. And while this is all happening, let's go over what you see here. So one of the key things you have to set up first is ensure that this is on bridge mode. So you click on this. Bridge mode means it will create, the network will see this as its own unique device. What does that mean? It will be given its own IP address and with the IP address that the network gave it, uh, we can access it. That's first. That has to be configured. Second is, uh, you will notice passwords here are all here. So you should be able to access this. And of course, uh, since you have access to the passwords, uh, log in. So depending on your computer, this can take uh, 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes to activate. So you can see we will just wait for this to have a loading screen. Word of warning, because you're using this virtual machine and it has these limited resources, it'll take time for each uh, step. If you want it to move faster and perform faster, when you shut it down, you can go to system and give it more RAM and CPU processors. Uh, so it'll reallocate the processors being used. It'll allocate it's it'll reallocate the process the processors being used. So we can go here and uh, so this is a shutdown system. So because it's shut down, we can change the amount of RAM. So you'll notice this red part that means that's the RAM you cannot allocate because it's reserved for the host computer, the computer running the virtual machine. Just be aware that Ryzen five or i5 computers 2019 and uh, newer uh, can have 8 to 16 cores depending on the model okay it's finally loaded as you can see the password is erp next took a while for that to show so this will also be laggy when i press enter okay it's finally loaded uh, now that it's loaded we can view by loading, turning on terminal and view the uh, IP address that the system can give it. So there are two ways to do it. There is this way where we go to the network for that load. But while that's loading, I, I can open terminal like what I just did. Terminal. When I click activities, you can see terminal here and type IP adder. So it's short for IP address and we'll look for the number two which is ENP Ethernet S3 and then uh, SO3 and then we notice that the address given by the PC is uh, 182 so this is the network 192.168.254 and this is the host or the device itself 182 there's a readme with the same details in case you forget so you'll notice that the in the readme it will say 192.168.254.182 then it'll tell you that it'll show there that the default port for the uh, for it is 8800 uh, 8800 so while that's loading you should understand that there's a port tainer where the uh, 182 uh, that is uh, managing the image of the of the ERP next nine four four three. So we have to put HTTPS backslash double backslash 
for it to load so you will have this uh, connection is not private it's you are in your own network so this is not a problem if you want to access it outside your facility you uh, we will have a, a zero tier tutorial by one of our OJTs uh, that will explain this okay uh, the username is admin and then the password is uh, frap ERP next so frap is the is the company that made ERP next and here is the ERP Next Docker stack. I went to the stack. This is the code that downloads all the files that makes the Docker run. Call this and see all the many Dockerized or containerized services that's making this run. I won't go into technical details about this. Now that I showed you how you can edit this, by the way, you can create more. Uh, ERP Nexus by creating another stack by copying the other stack uh, the stack the stack editor you can copy it so copy to clipboard a clipboard uh, here's a, uh, going back to stacks create a new one and make sure it's just a different name so you can create ERP Next uh, 0 02 and then uh, you have another one so you might want um, this allows you to make multiple ERP Nexus for various experiments uh, so you have the limit is the amount of ram and cpu you have uh, and of course storage for all the backups as you can see in the the description the password is administrator admin user is administrator and admin so we will uh, the more resources we put an i5 an i7 i9 as more more resources more powerful resources we get uh, the, the faster this will move but if you're willing to tolerate this level of speed, then this it's okay. As cheap as the cost of a dedicated, uh, ideally a micro desktop, because you can you want to leave it on 24/7 for your team and staff to be able to uh, access it. Uh, you want something with a low enough CPU power profile, so because you will be paying for that. Uh, uh, rule of thumb for those in the Philippines: uh, take the wattage of the CPU. Uh, so if it's a 30 watt CPU times 10, that's 300 pesos per month or around $6 per month of electricity having uh, average. So this is Justin Aquino of Confac IT. I hope this will be helpful for you. Uh, you can, uh, this will allow you to uh, uh, run multiple ERP Nexts as well as make as many copies. Uh, you can clone. You can clone this, back it up. Uh, my staff will go into that kind of details in future tutorials. And uh, hopefully this will get you to try ERP next. Uh, experience it so that you can be informed when you want to commit more resources and manpower. Confac IT is a FRAP partner. We're here to help you. Um, call this uh, set up your ERP next and if this is too much work and it's too much variables that's not a problem there is frap cloud frap cloud frap cloud allows you to host um, your own ERP next uh, you only pay for the amount of compute units that you use and if you call this you, it can be as low as uh, five or six dollars a month uh, so that's five to six dollars around 300 pesos a month and uh, other places will charge you per user other places will charge you uh, as much as ten dollars per user here you just pay for the amount of resources that uh, that you need because you know you don't know how many users will use it and how many how much usage each user will will have this is our recommendation for uh, others and of course you should still keep your your portainer ERP next so that you can experiment with whatever configuration you want your main ERP next to be running. We in Compact IT, we're here to help you set this up. And of course, uh, we teach OJTs, we partner with schools, and we make sure as many people as possible know this free and open source uh, solution uh, that has accounting, inventory, sales, uh, call this payroll, HR, it has everything. 
and it can be as low as free. Uh, all you really need us for is the uh, you can go to frap school. You can go to frap school for to, to train yourself for free. Or you can, and if you don't have the time for it, that's when you want someone like us, uh, Confac IT. We're not the only ones. There's uh, Human Design, uh, uh, SurePass, uh, Tasker in the Philippines. So um, those are other. Uh, you really have to know what options you have, and you know, check which one of those partners are uh, fit for your company or for your requirements. Okay, so. Hope this all helps.